and it'll be the northeast corner of Polk and Greenwich. Okay. And what should people bring when they come to a walk like this? Um, definitely bring a bottle of water. Um, bring a light jacket. Bring a cap if you want, or a hat. Um, definitely bring a camera. Some kind of a snack, maybe like granola or sunflower seeds or something like that. Something mm -hmm. that's going to give you energy that's not going to burn you out. Um, but definitely bring a bottle of water. Put some sunscreen on your face. Yeah, sunscreen on your is ears. important, isn't it? Yeah, it's already April. Absolutely important. The sun is strong. Yeah, wasn't and it a lovely warm day today? It really was. And so, um, in terms of the physical effort that's necessary, how fast do the walks go? Do people need to be in very good shape for this? Or well, no, not necessarily. I mean, I'm six five and weigh three sixty, and I lead these things. <laughs> and you know, if I can do it, pretty much anybody can. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I tell people right at the beginning of the walk, we'll, we'll do some very gentle stretching. Um, one of the things I'll tell people is we're going to walk to the pace of the slowest person. And sometimes that's me. <laughs> it's, it's not usually me. But sometimes it is. And, um, and, you know, and so, you know, some people will range out farther ahead. I don't ever leave anybody behind, though, because, mm -hmm. I mean, that, you know, my whole, one of the whole reasons I do this is because I have this sort of mission, this personal mission of creating community and including community and, and especially, you know, I'm sort of part of the San Francisco Bear community and, um, and, you know, a lot of my clients are in that community and so I'm trying to advocate small changes in lifestyle choices that they can do in, uh, that will build up over time to have a big effect over their um, Yeah, health. so it's really a very good uh, uh, practice just for promoting health and getting people used to the idea of being outside and enjoying the walks and having some companionship, I guess, too, right? Some yes. socialization. Yes, and, you know, it's really funny. People meet people on these walks that they've never, you know, that they would never encounter usually, you know. Um, new friendships have been made. I don't know if any kind of romances have happened, but um, new friendships have definitely well, been made. give it time. Give it time. Yeah, we'll never hey, know. Never right? know. Um, and uh, uh, so people, so I guess it, it, there's been a variety of levels of difficulty, right? Because you have, I'm sure the Chocolate Factory was a pretty level walk, and then you went to Golden well, Gate Heights, which was pretty. Was, yeah, the Golden Gate Heights, oh my God, Golden Gate Heights was the most difficult walk we've done so far. And that was really incredible. Once we got to the top of Turtle Hill, um, once we got to the top of Turtle Hill and you're just, you know, it was like windy and cold and we were all really like just miserable. And once we got up there, all of a sudden the sun came out and we had this spectacular view from the ocean to the bay, you know, looking north and looking south. You know, you just had the peninsula that was gorgeous. It was absolutely fantastic. The sun stayed out the whole rest of the walk and there were still seven stairways to climb and descend. <laughs> and so that one was a challenge. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody pretty much made it just perfectly fine. And, you, and, and so, you were telling me, I think, that that hill is part of the, San, uh, the Franciscan um, sandstones or the Franciscan um, overlay that uh, is, I think that includes right, the Farallones, really, right? Right, it does. It's a really important um, geological formation here in San Francisco. It's made of that crumbly, that sort of crumbly gray rock that a lot of San Francisco hills are based on. The and, serpentine, yeah. Right. Well, not the serpentine. Well, maybe it is the serpentine. But... Um, the thing that's really neat about Turtle Hill there, Golden Gate Heights, is that there are some um, endangered plant species on the hill, the uh, Franciscan wallflower and a couple of other species that we actually got to see and that were in bloom, and this was just, um, what, two months ago in January. Mm -hmm. And so it was, uh, it was very nice. There was that um, Franciscan iris, the native iris, which is this little tiny purple iris. It's so cute. And... Um, yeah, that, it that was a lovely nice. walk. It so was you, a great walk. You really do your history then. You're very well prepared for all of these walks. Well, I like to try to I like to try to answer the questions. One of the things I'll do is I'll, I'll hop in a zip car and I'll sort of ride around the route and I'll look and I'll scout it out and I'll see, you know, well this might be too difficult or this might be fun or or here's an interesting building or or um you know, that kind of thing. I try to do that. Yes. But let's look at a couple of pictures now, because you brought some uh, okay. visuals in with, for us. Okay. Uh, so here's the first one. Tell us a little bit about this. This is at First and Market. This is from the very first walk we did. And those are some of the um, very original walkers. A couple of those people still come every single month. And um, that's right at First and Market, That which First Street is called First Street because it used to be the... Um, it used to be the original Shoreline Street. The edge of the bay. Right, the edge of the bay. And then, of course, from first all the way out to the ferry building is landfill. So it's 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 really interesting. And that was our Yerba Buena Cove walk. And, of course, there it is. Yeah, Yerba yeah. Buena Cove was the um, original shoreline of, of the uh, eastern 
the eastern part of the uh, San City. Francisco, the, okay. the tip. And then here's uh, some more. There are some people, and just sort of showing, you know, people bring their dogs. You know, see, everybody's wearing a hat. This was in December of 2008, and so it was a little chilly that day, kind of um, gray and misty. But you can see that plaque under the guy's feet there. Well, maybe you can't. The, the, oh, yeah, the down the, the road, bananas in the way. Right. But, uh, um, okay, and then this is... That is... Um, that's the Vallejo... Not the, Yeah, those are the Vallejo steps. And... Um, that's looking up, back up at the Vallejo steps. We had just descended those stairways. This is a, one of the things that's really interesting. This is on the shoulders of Telegraph Hill. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about a lot of the stairways, you know, the stairways were put in because um, the hills were too steep for horse-drawn carriages. Oh, is that why they did it? Okay. That's one of the reasons why they did it. In this case, this part of Telegraph Hill, the, east, the whole eastern face of Telegraph Hill was, um, was a quarry. Oh really? And um, and you can actually see parts of it if you're looking around Sansom and some of the areas like down at, on the uh, at the bottom of the hill. You can actually see the route, the rock outcropping where then they've put up this big um, like chain link mesh. Oh, that's right, because they were having landslides, weren't they? Right, they're having landslides and things, and so you know because they they took all the soil away. But this is one of the great examples. The city provides the water, and the um, residents in the neighborhood provide the um, the residents in the neighborhood. Over the course of years, we'll plant it. This is this is one of the more established um, stairway gardens. And it looks very nice. And it's beautiful. It? And when you're walking through it, you can see those little yellow flowers up in the upper um, left corner below the tree there. Those are those uh, trumpet flowers that oh, just yes. put off that incredible scent at yeah. night. And walking under them, you just your face just sort of gets brushed by the fragrance. Yeah. It's, it's really delightful. It's very romantic that location. I think it kind of reminds you of Armistead Mopin and Barbara it is. And it very much of. is. And it, and. And I'm, um, you know, very much looking forward to uh, doing this next one on Russian Hill. Let's take a look at a few more, so we, because we're running low on time. Okay. Right? Oh, there's a pretty. That's what it looked like that day. It was gray and cold and sort of misty, and so that's sort of a typical view that you'll get. One of the great things about these walks is that around every corner there's a different view. Yeah, and I have your uh, uh, email address up there on the bottom of the screen now, so people oh, yeah, can copy website, that down. Oh yeah, Right, paulbrown.net. Okay. Let's take a look at another picture. So where is this? This is on. This is also. This is. Um, Near Montgomery, this is right on the shoulder of Telegraph Hill. That's one of the uh, oldest houses in San Francisco from like 1860. Really? It looks yeah. so ordinary. It's it that old, is it? It's a cracker box, and it just is very ordinary. The next slide actually shows the oldest house. That little purple house right there on uh -huh. the left, uh -huh. that's the oldest house in San Francisco. And where is that one? That's uh, right across the street from that other one. Huh. It's on Calhoun Terrace, I think. Wow. It's so unassuming looking. You would right. never guess that house has been that house was used in the streets of San Francisco and several movies because like, it has that weird, unusual um, little window. Yeah, that isn't original. Uh -huh. But the um, but the, the building itself. The building itself. That's the original building. 18. They lived pretty small in those days. That's pretty a small. small. House. It's it's like yeah, it's like two stories, three stories. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on to another one. This is Napier Lane. That's going down the Filbert Steps. That's okay. um, that's a that's a walking path between the Filbert and Greenwich Steps. Mm -hmm. And I just thought I love that big aloe right there. Yes. So I thought it was a nice. It's picture very of very it. picturesque, isn't it? Okay. Yes, it is. This is the bottom of the Filbert Steps at Sansom, mm -hmm. Filbert and Sansom. And um, again, you can see. So this you can sort of see how vertical it is. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, you can see how vertical it is, and one of the things that this is a really good example. The the, um, the the people in the neighborhood really planted over that very very well, but that really was part of the quarry there when they um, was doing land. That's actually a quarry face, huh? That's a quarry face. Wow, and they've That's done right. a pretty good job of they <laughs> improvement. Did. They did. I mean, that took like about 40 years to grow in, and because um, the people started um, doing the landscaping in the 1950s. Wow, so that's quite Silver a bit Street. of growth there. Yes, absolutely. 